Shalom, give all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shalom, to the 144,000, the cabinet of the elect, and the rest of the elect <coughs> out there. May Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, be uh, richly bless you. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video, Where is this leading to? This is a video that's put up by a uh, soldier of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, global digital IPs, lockdowns in control. This is an article. Uh, what is this? The Dallas Morning News, okay. Uh, Bill Gates declares everyone on earth, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a, you fill in the blank, on earth, must prove their identity using his his global digital ID system. It's going to start off with your smartphone, then it's going to go into your body, which is uh, the when something is in your when a when the technology is put in your body, it's called biometrics. That's what it, that's what it's called. The bio is your body, and the metrics is a device that goes inside of you. Like a foot, well, a fingerprint, palm print, uh, eye scan, that's also biometrics, but ultimately it's going to be the uh, karagma, which we, we've been saying. So how are they going to kick this off? You know, they'll kick, they'll kick it off because this is the fulfillment of prophecy. All they're doing is what the, what the most I said they were going to do. The how about Hashem and Shai said they were going to do. So we want this to hurry up and come. We want this these devils to stop dragging their feet and come down with great wrath because they know they have but a short time. And they're going to succeed in doing it. They're going to succeed in um, uh, sea hipping the majority of the people on the planet Earth. Of course, we're not going to take it, even to the point of death. So get your mind ready. If you get locked down or you get put to death, you get your head chopped off by a, a, um, a, uh, mechanized uh guillotine so this is one close one step closer to the uh motb one step closer to the motb and i'm gonna say this because y'all got a bunch of questions well what if we get this qr code to buy and sell what if they you know do away with all paper dollars and credit cards and this everything got to go on your smartphone that's not you're not taking the market piece that's not it. When you take it, you put it inside of you. The minute you put it inside of you, and that's what they're gonna present. They're gonna they're gonna make it where you have to get it inside of your right hand, left hand. Like I said, Revelation 13 and 16, when it says right hand, it's not actually talking about the hand. The word there is dextrose, which normally is your right hand, but it can be your left hand. If you're a lefty, if you're right with your left, if you box out poor, then your dextrose is in your left hand. That's why in Revelation, I said this before, I'm gonna sound like a broken record. Revelation 20 verse four, it says hand. It doesn't say right hand or left hand. And then when you look that word up, hand, it, it takes you, it, the word there is, is for hand in the Greek. So that's it. So the right hand thing you had, uh, well, is he a, was he a bishop or a deacon? Uh, I, I thought he fell out the truth. He's no longer in this thing. He's not going to come back. And if he does come back to uh, the IUIC, he's not going to be the same. He's, he, he notice he doesn't come on any of our videos and make comments. I believe he became disenchanted. But we'll see. He'll, we'll see. He told me back in, no, 2017 maybe? That yes, you guys are right. GMS is right about the MOTB. But he, but I told him you got to go tell the leadership about this. You got to grow a backbone and tell the leadership. He failed to do it. And then what did the most I do? He took it away from him because he came back mm, 2021, 20, I guess. And he said, well, it already happened. Well, wait a minute. What do you mean it already happened? If it already happened, that means everybody got the majority of the world got the karagma. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. I was, this is nothing but a, hit, a quick hit. Are we ready for 
a new world order. What we're seeing in the world today, I think, is we are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, yes. we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting huh. and introduce a new one. That's and a the new one, dollar. the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. Listen it this. means having a almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also raises huge dangers in terms of the balance of power between states and citizens. In my opinion, we're going to need a digital constitution of human rights if we're going to have digital money. However, we do know that global energy systems, food systems and supply chains will be deeply affected. Le nouveau monde, mm. il en doit accepter une transparence, et je dirais même une transparence totale. Tout va être transparent. Et il faut s'habituer, il faut se comporter ainsi. Ça devient, comment dirais-je, intégré dans votre personnalité, mais ah. si on n'a rien à cacher, euh, il ne faut pas avoir peur. like the Bank of England, already prepared their microchip implant, RFID chip, to be implanted under your skin. Um, and why is the sudden discussion about universal basic income from all the grassroots and inverted commas movements and billionaires? Oh, universal basic income is the bribe for you to accept the microchip. The Federal Reserve is considering a digital dollar. The implications for privacy and freedom are frightening. I just had the most bizarre experience at this Bank of America, so I decided when I left I was going to make a video really quick. Has anybody else seen something like this? Okay, and you get in here and it's completely like no one's in here. And it has these two little rooms. Saying, come in to video chat. I mean, I don't know if I like living in the future. This is fucking weird, yeah? I use the ATMs down there, but... What the fuck? So the latest in this dystopian outrage that is now all of China, apparently, is I once again cannot buy food. A couple days ago, my uncle and my cousin helped me get a cell phone that is linked to a Chinese bank card so that I could buy anything. But now, apparently, it has been flagged for some reason, and I have to pass facial recognition identity verification, which is insane, because all I want to do is just spend my gift card balance on this debit card. I can't believe I'm doing this. I have to open my mouth. Oh my god. It's terrifying. Oh. And of course, because it was my cousin who set this up for me, I did not pass verification. I guess it's a good thing that the Chinese app is not racist. But now, I once again can't buy anything. A425, please. All right, I have a few. Kenny, keep your mask on. Sorry we don't take cash. Okay. Um, one second. Let me. Sorry, we don't take card either. <laughs> I'm sorry? What am I supposed to use? Can you, can you step to the side so you can figure this out? Can I speak to your manager? No! Excuse me. Do, do you guys take checks? We don't need it. I have the money. We don't need it. Okay, what the hell is that? 
Excuse me, when was that implemented? I don't have that. Sorry. But we're cashless now. I had to implement the new system just to stay in business. It's it's okay, Mom. You don't need it. Let's just let's just go. I hope you understand. Oh, but hey, hey, um, if you want to check out Mike's Corner Store right up the street, you might have some luck. Thank you. as these people buy items in a store using their eyeballs. This is biometric scanning happening in stores. All you do is look at the POS machine and boom, you've purchased something. I'm telling you the new world order is here. It is coming. It's actually already here. That someone implant a microchip into your hand if you would receive $2,000 a month. A month in return for getting a chip put in your hand. You heard me right. We'll give you universal basic income, basically. 2,000 euros, $2,000 a month, if you allow us to put a microchip in your hand. That's exactly what's about to happen as part of the rollout of the central bank digital currencies. That's a carrot for them to rope you into this mess. We'll get to that part of the story in a minute. The chip implantation process. Not the corn chip, as Dan said in our chat, but a actual metallic tracking chip. Um, but a new report just published this week by the Bank for International Settlements explains how our new digital money system is about to work. We've been warning you that this, this was coming for a long time uh, on this show. Also, we weren't the only ones predicting this. Uh, it was predicted in a little book, you might have heard of it, called uh, The Bible, uh, The Mark of the Beast. Uh, for one thing, this new system, this is how this new system would operate. According to them, the Bank for International Settlements, the new reserve currency, forget the dollar as you know it, basically. This will be the new reserve currency, which is what how they want to label it and how they are labeling it. This would be used to settle all transactions. As everyone moves away from the U.S. dollar right now, this seems like perfect timing to be moving to this new system. So are they purposefully torpedoing the U.S. dollar in preparation for a global a global new uh, reserve currency. One might wonder, right? We don't believe in conspiracy theories. Right? Stephanie's teenage daughter is a special needs child prone to wander off and trust strangers. For that very reason, Stephanie wholeheartedly welcomes microchipping a child. If a small chip the size of a grain of rice could have prevented a tragedy, I think most parents, you know, hindsight would have said, I wish I would have done it. But Stephanie is in the minority in her Tampa Bay mom's group, where other mothers call this too sci-fi and invasive. You're putting a battery in your kid, you're putting a chip in your kid, and where does it stop? Turns out the technology to microchip your kids has existed since the early 90s, but hasn't really caught on. Is it a little too science fiction for you? Very much so. A well-known technology expert out of Boston tells us microchipping poses little to no health risks and would act as a barcode of sorts. Without question. It could save a life, uh, reunite a family, uh, find a missing Alzheimer's patient. I always tell people, as long as you're doing what you feel is best for your child, y you're not really wrong. And guys, this is what we're talking about, the microchip. I don't know if you can see it in my hand. It's the size of a grain of rice, very, very small. And the expert that we spoke with actually tells us that barcodes were introduced in the late 1960s. And back then, people thought, uh, this is way 